Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to look into your items and your late shipment rate and how to make some adjustments uh, within uh, your product based on that. As you may or may not know, adjusting handling days can uh, bring you quite a lift in sales and profit and really uh, increase your buy box percentage ownership. Let's just jump right in because once you know which items are shipping late and which items in general are shipping early by supplier, uh, you'll be able to make the adjustments pretty quickly. So if you go to download a report, We'll just process it right real quickly and then it so, shows you that like in the last 30 days there were 32 shipments that were late once the report is ready uh, pull it into uh, an Excel doc be able to see some of the uh, information right and so they basically give you the order IDs and the expected ship date and the actual ship date and the shipping confirmation time etc etc Basically, we don't really know which you know which suppliers these orders are from uh, yet. But if you're using uh, OE Genius Inventory Management, you could do a CSV export, and we'll just open up that sheet. Um, and now you have your orders over here. So you have the order ID here, and you have uh, source URL right next to it. So what we're going to do is a VLOOKUP. on the order ID and then we want it to give us which source it's coming from. So actually I did uh, I did something from like only the past 30 days so these two uh, didn't come up but let's just exclude them from our practice. I could have run a report in OA Genius for a, uh, for a longer date range but I didn't so now I'm just gonna paste this in here. Okay, so this is the source. I'm going to do some work on this real quickly in another sheet just to parse it out. So now we have just the URL itself. And if we want to go even further, we could just replace www. with nothing, replace all from here. Okay, great. Source, okay, so now we have our sources, right? So, but now how do we figure out which ones are late? So we're gonna insert a pivot table, source and order ID. So we see that uh, Farm and Fleet is shipping uh, the majority of them late and then Fleet Farm is the second highest and then Home Depot, Walmart uh, and the others look pretty good from here. So so what do we learn from that? We learn that that you know these two right here if I increase handling days by one then we can you know we'll probably be in line with everything else and for the amount of orders that we're doing from Home Depot and Walmart only five were late in the past 30 days. So probably I can decrease my handling days by at least one on both of these retailers uh, and sources, and I might have to increase my handling days uh, by one on at least certain ones of the listings, if not all of the listings on, uh, on the others. So that's it.